The landscape is so important for the Brontes. You know, they live in this house, and in one way it looks down onto this working, everyday town, and then back to this absolutely unique landscape. And it's it's a landscape that is pretty harsh. It's not one that you know easily takes on human life. It's not one that is pastoral or ideal in any way. It's harsh and it's wintry. And it so structures the book. You know, it's a light, it's a world of contrasts as Wuthering Heights between the heights at the top and then Thrushcross Grange below. Very different places, very different societies, and living in and part of very different landscapes. But it's also that it matters for the characters too, in that Heathcliff is uh, he's constantly compared to the landscape. He's like a he's like a windstone. He's like something harsh and stony, not something that in which anything can grow. So part of his destructiveness is related to the destructiveness or the coldness or the difficulty of the landscape. Well, it's not a pastoral landscape, this. It's not, a, it's not one that's easy for human beings to live in. But it's one that matters a lot to the Brontes and they, they love it very much. So that uh, Charlotte, uh, when she's a young woman, she goes to work at Rowhead School. And still, even when she's there, she's thinking about the landscape. So she writes at one point about the wind at Rowhead. The wind pouring in impetuous current through the air, sounding wildly, unremittingly from hour to hour, deepening its tone as the night advances, coming not in gusts, but with a rapid gathering stormy swell. That wind I know is heard at this moment, far away, on the moors at Haworth. Branwell and Emily hear it as it sweeps over our house down the churchyard and round the old church. They think, perhaps, of me and Anne. So Charlotte takes the landscape with her, and when she hears the wind, she thinks of it as the same wind that sweeps over this landscape here, and it connects her back both to this land that she knows and loves so much and to the people, to Branwell and to Emily, that are there in the house at Haworth. 